Hey guys, Jim here. Hope you all having a great day. Really appreciate you stopping by. Today I want to do a video response for Robert over at Comment and Collector here on YouTube. He has reached 200 subscribers on his channel and he's celebrating by doing a contest and he'd like to see people's unopened or undisturbed products that they have. And I thought that sounded like a fun idea. And Robert's a great guy, a big supporter in the community. So I wanted to show my support back to him by doing a video response for his contest. So as always, a link to the channel will be in the description. Go on over there and, and check out the channel. I think you'll like what you see there. And I've got a, a, a several different things here I'm going to show. So let me just get started. First off, in the background, I, I probably not quite what Robert had in mind when he talked about unopened stuff. But what you see here in the background is a um, Yaz 3000 hit 400 home run. This is a puzzle, a 500 piece puzzle, and it is unopened. You can see we've got the price tag on there. That was $5.97, came from Child World. And this is from 1983. Like I said, it's unopened. And I'm going to keep that there in the background for a little backdrop. I've got some unopened Mork and Mindy packs. Robert, he's a big uh, non-sport. Non he collects sports and non-sports. He likes the unopened stuff. So these are from 1979, Mork and Mindy. Wax packs, very cool. I've got this box, 1985, Rambo. First Blood Part 2. And this is a complete unopened box of wax packs. You see here, 1985. And those actually have gum in them. So that's pretty cool. Here I have a 1982. This is Squirt. 1982. This is the um, 22 card complete set. It's still sealed. It's a little ripped up here. Um, kind of shelfware, if you will. But this has never been opened. Like I said, 1982. I was really tempted to open this when I got it, especially because when I bought it, it was ripped like that. But I um, haven't really talked myself into opening it just yet. So there it is, still in its original unopened condition. Got a little football here. We got a rack pack. This is uh, 1986. 1986 tops football rack pack and that was a dollar 49 originally great set 1986 it could be a jerry rice rookie card in there among others who knows i again was very tempted to open that i actually have two of those here's a 1987 rack pack football unopened eric dickerson there on the, the front this one is a little messed up this piece was actually cut for some reason but it's still sealed the cards have not been touched tampered with removed or anything else so excluding that it's, it's a completely sealed rack pack of 1987 tops football so that's pretty cool here i have a 1981 tops baseball rack pack with reggie reggie on the front there so that's cool eight and 81 the rack packs were one dollar I like, the, I like it when they have the price tags on them still. It's pretty cool. Uh, it gives it a little bit of extra character as far as I'm concerned. Now here I have a 1986 top black pack. $19.86. And Gary Carter on the back there. So that's pretty cool. One of the stipulations Robert asked is that we only show stuff that is older than uh, 1987. So I have a ton of unopened stuff newer than 1987 but that is this is the older older than 87 stuff here i have a 1961 j publishing uh boston red sox picture pack unopened uh, i bought this at the national last year and figured it's been unopened all these years there's no sense for me to open it now and so last but not least um so this is kind of what he was referring to when he said undisturbed This is a baseball hobby card report. This is volume one, issue number two. And this is from March of 1983. You can see a very nice photo there of Duke Snyder on the cover. But what makes this undisturbed is inside, we have a T206 reprint set that was included with this magazine. And they're all still in place. See, they're perforated. They were meant to be removed, but they weren't. So um, for all intents and purposes, they're undisturbed. 
and this is really really cool i love this i absolutely love this um magazine so there is the t206 reprints and they've got the different backs uh sweet caporal piedmont old mill this is a fun a fun magazine to look through um see the different prices and stuff back back in the day 1963 Flair, Roberto Clemente, $7.50. I love looking through these old, this old stuff. Anyway, I could probably do a whole video on that. And last but not least, another magazine. This is Baseball Cards Magazine. This is issue number nine, and this is from August of 1984. And there's also some cards in here. There's two um, 1953 reprints. Dale Murphy and Ted Williams. And again, completely undisturbed. And again, a uh, completely awesome thing to look at. And so that's all I got, guys. Go check out Commenting, Commenting Collector if you're not familiar with the channel. Um, Robert's a really nice guy, and he has a great channel. That's all I got. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye for now.